So uh, the DNS thing. So, well, first of all, DN DNS is like the like the vanity plate of the internet. Um, websites get domain names, and those names are for you as a human uh, because it's harder to remember. Uh, 66.98. 24.6. Um, it's easy to remember joe.com. So uh, the system is built in such a way that that uh, joe.com would translate to that IP address. Um, and it's none of your business really what that address is. I mean, it is your business, but uh, it's for all intents and purposes, you don't care. Um, so if, if, for instance, I had more than one website or more than one server, uh, rather, for high availability or something, or if I move to a different company or whatever the case may be, um, it doesn't matter to you if I change my IP address because that uh, system of translation happens outside of your network for the most part. Uh, in this case, in this situation, uh, this caching problem, or I mean, caching is a good thing, but uh, the thing that we're talking about right now is this poisoning thing. So let's say you were to fire up your web browser, or you fire up your computer in your web browser and say, hey, I want to go to joe.com. Uh, joe.com, uh, your computer doesn't know where that is. So it'll say, uh, I need the address for joe.com. The first place it's going to check uh, in this situation uh, for our conversation here is your router. So on the way out, it'll say, all right, uh, hey, uh, I'm going to go to joe.com. I need you to tell me where it is. Uh, your router will say, all right, I'll get that for you. And then you're, uh, during the, while that happens, your DNS cache will step in on your router and it'll say, oh, hey, hold on. Uh, no need to go to the internet. I have it. Uh, let me save you some time. I have the address right here and here it is. It's 1.2.3.4. Um, so your router says, oh, great. Okay, so I don't even have to go out to the internet. So it hands that address off to your computer uh, and then your computer knows where to go so your computer then uh, displays joe.com and all the wonderful content that is there which looks like some kind of real estate website unfortunately <laughs> porn in the joe.com domain uh, if uh, you were to fire up your computer uh, your web browser and try to go to joe.com it needed the address for it it went to your router uh, cache uh, steps in and says, uh, oh, I don't have it. Your router says, that's fine. Um, I've got a list here of servers on the internet. They, uh, that's their job. They keep a catalog of those IP addresses. Uh, so I'm gonna go to a trusted uh, internet source and that source is gonna say, yeah, sure, here's joe.com's IP address. It's right here. Uh, your router says, great, uh, let me give that to, to the computer so it can go there. Uh, on the way in though, uh, the DNS cache steps in and says, oh, um, Somebody looked for joe.com before, uh, I didn't have it. Why don't you give me that IP address and I'll save it locally so we can save, a, save some time. So uh, on the way in, the cache, uh, your DNS cache in your router steps in and it saves that translation from joe.com to 1.2.3.4. So it saves traffic out to the internet and it, it makes the process faster for the future. Say uh, it's not on your computer anymore and you're on the same network, but you're gonna go to joe.com on your iPhone. It's gonna go. Uh, it's gonna use the same chain. Say, ah, I don't. I don't know the address for that. It's gonna ask your router, and again, your router is gonna say, ah, yeah. DNS cache is gonna step in, and it's gonna say, I have that address. It's right here. Go on to it. So it, it hands it, it hands it uh, out to the iPhone or whoever's on the network. So the cache is saved centrally in your local network. There, uh, in this case, um, but. If there's a situation where, let's say you have your iPhone, it's got a malicious app or whatever, right? Um, or, uh, you know, you go to a, you, you click a phishing link in a site or whatever it is, uh, something uh, gets into your network and it then decides to say, all right, I'm gonna start broadcasting. This is, this is uh, joe.com's Joe IP address is actually this evil IP address and it's gonna start saying it over and over again. Your router's gonna pick up on it. Eventually, it's gonna enter its DNS cache. So it's gonna say it over and over again and overwhelm this cache. 
And then eventually, uh, the next time you fire up your computer in your web browser and you say, I want to go to joe.com, what happens is it doesn't have the address. It says, all right, I need the address for joe.com. Again, it goes to your router. Again, your cache steps in, but this time it serves it the evil IP address. And as far as you, you're concerned, your web browser still shows joe.com, but underneath, joe.com is translating to this other address. And uh, so that address might be a clone of joe.com, uh, all the wonderful content there. Maybe they've scraped it and copied it. And now uh, when you hit the cart or you check out, that, that cart sends your information to some cartel somewhere or something, uh, some, some, uh, some hacker ring or <laughs> whatever nefarious thing you can imagine. Um, but uh, unbeknownst to you, so what, when you look at the web browser, you're going to still see uh, joe.com, the underpinning uh, address that that actually translates to it is poisoned in the cache. It's pointing to the wrong place. And because of that, uh, the um, traffic never gets out to joe.com. Your router never checks with the internet because it doesn't have to. It's trying to save you time. So it's got the address saved locally. Uh, and that is DNS cache poisoning. <laughs>